Okay, we're looking at Cameron playing Anna on Junker Town. So, Anna main, who just got demoted three times in a row from D2 to D5. What more can I do here? This is my most recent match of pure Anna. I'm not sure what I can do to rank up at this point. In Overwatch 1, I was 3900 Anna, and I don't think my gameplays request that much. I know in this replay I make a few mistakes. I hold on Nandu basically the whole re first round in hopes to use it with one of my teammates' ults. I realize this mid-round decided to use my ult more liberally in the second half. I know I used sleep darts in wrong moments. My accuracy in this replay was 80%. My E hits Rhines. That's a grenade. Uh, shield field time, which I know can be improved more. However, I feel like I'm playing at a higher level than D5. I don't think I deserve to be D-ranked. Maybe I do deserve to be D-ranked. Please rip into this replay. Okay, cool. So let's take a look. So if you used to be 3900 in Overwatch 1, I don't know which season that was, but if it was anywhere towards the end of the Overwatch 1 times, it's really, really strong. As a reminder, the level of play got very strong over time, partially because the weaker players left, <clears throat> partially because people's understanding of the game grew. So like I was GM multiple seasons i want to say somewhere in like the low teens and when i came back and started playing in like i don't know season 19 or 20 or something like that uh i ended up basically plateauing in low diamond for a while until i made my way back into high masters um and then you know stopped playing at that point but i feel like i probably would have gotten back into like low gm but just to keep perspective like if you played earlier on overwatch lifetime it, the skill level got much much higher as time went on it's just something to note okay Sorry, I'm going to take a cough because I'm sick, and otherwise I'm going to coughing this whole video. So, if you're Diamond, uh, you're, you're, you're High Masters in Overwatch 1, I assume you know all of the fundamentals. You're like, you know, Anna 100 level, 200 level, even 300 level stuff. You should know all this stuff, so I'm not going to spend any time on that. All right? I'm not even going to talk, talk about your team comp because I assume you should understand what your role is in the team comp in this situation. Okay? But I would just note quickly is that you have two main healers here, which means that you can be a lot more aggressive than you normally would. And I'm primarily looking at Reaper for Nanos here. Maybe the Reaper, but primarily Reaper. Okay, you see Bastion here? This is sloppy. Like, right off the bat, you have a huge hitbox over this, and you're hitting into the wall. This is, like, a bad start for you, honestly. Like, I just, you know, if you're playing at this level, this is just crazy to, to be missing this grenade. This is a very easy grenade, number one. Number two, you're just full sending it. <laughs> Like, this feels like you're tilted already. You're, like, jumping forward aggressively, tossing nades. Like, you see this Widow right over here? Could easily have killed you. Easily have killed you right here. And you're just not paying attention at all. Like, this is such a sniper favorite map. Why, why are you just, like, just running up forwards like this? You're, you're absolutely bonkers. Like, maybe you're trying to help the Reaper? In which case, why are you throwing a grenade here? Wouldn't you be throwing a grenade at the Rhine? Like, the, the Bastion's never going to die here, right? You grenade him? Yeah, okay, he just steps around the corner. It's fine. Like, throwing a grenade here is not constructive. Sleep Dart, way more useful here than um, the nade. Okay, you have sleep. You don't use it against Bastion despite the fact that he's still in tank form shredding your team. Really questionable. You understand there's a Widow now, and now you're playing careful. Healing up. Now your Jiggle Peak, which I think is good. Load. Um, somebody needs to be moving the cart, and that's supposed to be you in the situation, right? You're wasting time here. Because the cart's not moving, and this is 100% on you. Like, I don't understand why you're not playing on cart. You can safely play behind the cart. And save the You've lost LOS on your Orisa. Again, you wouldn't have this problem if you were playing on the cart. I don't understand why you're playing up here on the stairs. You drop, and you drop ahead of the cart, right? Imagine if the Widow was playing right here. The moment you drop, you're dead, right? Or if the Widow's playing here, okay? I, I just the positioning here is like really weird for somebody who is 3900 like maybe Junkertown came on after but this is all very strange decisions by me right at your level Will's gonna be hitting shots all the time easy shots you throw a sleep at the ride despite the fact that you know there is a bastion in this game is <laughs> absolutely bonkers who cares this bad this river this ride's not doing anything who cares okay you think you're going to kill this ride that quickly? I don't think so. Reaver's not even looking at him. If Reaver's looking at him, maybe. Like, sleep, nay, yeah, maybe he's going to die here. But in this situation, your is going to instantly wake up the ride and you wasted it. And now you have nothing to counter the ride with. The Bastion. Oh, look, Bastion's gone tank form. Okay. You should be damaging right now. I don't know where you're healing, right? Like, Kiriko, as soon as she suzus, start trying to kill the Bastion. Right? Great opportunity to grenade there and kill the Bastion, and he dies. You don't need to kill the Reaper. Reaper's already Wraith. He's fine. Kill the Bastion. Uh, you don't even heal the Reaper. Okay. 
Pure goes forced to move the cart, which is really unfortunate because she's not nearly as good at long distance as you are. Right, she steps forward, which is the right call. You should be the one moving the cart. So, you heard the charge, and you didn't step to the left. If I hear the charge right there, I step to the left to see if I can sleep this. Right, right here, I step to the left. Now, realistically, you actually probably basically couldn't have hit the sleep. Maybe if you're like super, if you started sleep before you even turned the corner, I think you could have landed the sleep. But the fact that you don't even try is very weird to me, right? You should be looking for every opportunity to maximize value. Like, this is just, you're just kind of mindlessly moving the cart for no reason. Stepping up here is the right call, right? Trying to help that fight, but you step up too late. Way too late. Now your character goes dead. Don't shoot the shield. Not your job. Wasting time. You're just wasting your time. Now you're down to you're down to five shots when you actually a fight is actually going to start. I don't understand this. <laughs> if only you had more ammo now, that would be incredibly useful right now, wouldn't it? All right? And again, why are you swinging wide right now? Like clearly, your Arisa's retreating. If you swing wide here, even if you throw the sleep, like what is it? It's not going to make a difference. Your Arisa's already in cover. She's fine. Just heal the Arisa. Okay. You throw the grenade. Right? Which only hits your Orisa, who is already safe behind cover. You could just step to the right and keep healing. If the Ryan tries to push the Orisa here, right? If the Ryan just then throw the grenade. But throwing grenade here is really bad. See, now you're below because again, you're wasting shots here. Right, your, your team's like doing well. <laughs> like, you're not doing anything, but your team is doing well. You're getting picks. You kill the Mercy right now. You, you look for it, that's fine. That's good. Alright, yeah, just cover this. Okay. Look for it. You should get that heal right away. Too slow. At diamond level? At diamond level? Or at 3900 level? You know, high masters? You should hit this heal. You have plenty of time here to hit this heal. Not, not miss that. Right, that would have saved your, saved your Reaper, maybe. Grenade. Reasonable grenade, right? Doesn't actually end up being useful. Good sleep, right? Good predictive sleep. It's all becoming good. Right? But so far, the only impact, you, I mean, the sleep actually didn't matter because I ran into the diver. So you had very little impact. I and mean, one of the things to recognize is you don't win by simply existing, right? If you simply exist, at best, you're going to have 50% win rate. You're going to have something like 45-50% win rate. If you want to climb, you need to be carrying your team. You need to drag them to wins by having high impact plays. I've seen none of that so far. And I've identified multiple opportunities where you could have had picks or saved teammates and you failed to, to, fail to confirm. Right? Your team carried you through this first one. I think it is the right call here to step forward, no one can hide. right? You recognize, hey, like, you, you see from, from, you know, Widow Hacks, you're like, oh, okay, this is, like, gonna turn into a real fight. You step forward here, which I think is the right call, right? I've been looking to sleep slash nano here right away. So you throw a grenade. I think sleeping was the higher value thing, right? The grenade is less value than sleeping, either the Ryan or the Bastion here, right? Ideally aiming for the Bastion, and then throw a grenade after that. Uh, again, for some reason, you're killing the Orisa instead of the Reaper who was in front. Right? As soon as this happens, like I understand the Reaper was full for a second. As soon as this happens, go back to the Reaper. I honestly would have just kept my crosshair on the Reaper the whole time because your Orisa is totally safe. Right? She has cover. She has the Mega. She has cooldowns. Like, forget it. Yeah. See, now you're slow, and now he dies. You definitely should have nano there. No one can hide. They don't think you can Considering how long it is, I think Bastion only has a few seconds left of uh, tank form. Okay, he only has two seconds left. I think I nano Reaper here and I pocket him. By the way, I didn't see any any uh, nanos that you should have done. Um, oh, you mean the whole first round, not just the first point, yeah. Yeah, at this point it's too late once he gets purple, but uh, I think at, at this point, I would nano. I would nano the Reaper. Right? He's got he's got he's got wraith as well. Yeah, I would for sure nano the Reaper here. If you nano the Reaper here, this fight is won. Right? Because he just he would first of all not get bursted down so quickly. He has wraith, he just dies too quickly. Right? He's trying to get greedy. But as soon as he got nanoed, he would just wraith and then and then kill everyone. So big opportunity. You win the fight right there if you nano the Reaper. You should be a lot freer with nano, right? Nano's one of the fastest charging ones in the game. I agree with this right call. I don't think that your Risa should be in here, and I don't think there's anything you can do about this. I think you just move the car as far as you can, except that your Risa's gonna die. Optimistic grenade. I'm 
curious actually where this ends up going. Oh, back goes. <laughs> okay, this seems to have gone on long enough that at this point, once a Risa started coming back over here, then I would go. Then I would shift. Right? Because the Kirigo's keep clearly keeping the Risa alive, so now I shift forward. Now I leave the cart. For sure. I leave the cart. I leave the cart. Definitely leave the cart. <laughs> leave the cart. Like, you should, like. Oh, man. Like, they turned it into a play, but you just did not help them. Right? Now everyone's dead, you just leave. Yep. Don't even say that long, because that's how you get picked. Alright. If the Ryan charge cancels here and, and blocks your sleep, then you die against that. Easy dodge. Okay. Playing low ground here is not great. I would have spent the time to go back and try to go high ground. Because again, from high ground you can always drop low, but from low ground you cannot go high. So you better hope your reset doesn't need your healing above you. Yeah. Right, this is a pick. But he gets woken immediately. So magically doesn't go for you. Right? I would be like, hey, look, you know, call out, ping him, whatever. Kill the Ryan. Kill the Ryan. Right? I don't know why you're not looking at the Ryan. Like you just run alongside the Ryan like he's not a threat. Right. I would just be continually staying. I would like stay back here. I definitely am not walking forward right now. I don't know. This feels crazy. Right? The ride is still here, right? I also don't think you've seen him shatter. Right? He's only at 50% for some reason. But like this is bonkers to me that you would step here. Like I don't understand. Like surround the ride on all sides, he dies. How do you die in this situation? Like granted, yeah, the reset bumped him into you, but there's no reason that should have been a risk at all, ever. Like there's zero reason for you to have done what you just did. Actually bonkers. You had an opportunity to shield this Kiriko, right? You didn't even need the scope to slow yourself down. You could just shot her while you were walking. It's a bummer. You can sleep. Just throw a grenade, right? I just throw a great grenade from The fight's over, right? Just make sure, absolutely sure there's no way the Widow gets away or kills your Widow or anything. Just throw a grenade. Right, cooldown's gonna come back up by the time you need it again. Again, your team's rolling and not because of anything you're doing. <laughs> Again, Ryan walks up to you, your instinct should not be, let me stand here and shoot his shield. What, in what world is that the right plan? What do you think is going to happen when he walks into you, right? If he blocks sleep, you die, right? If he shatters you, you die. <laughs> like, I don't understand why you don't respect the Ryan at all. His team is just you know, trying to stack up behind him. You're very lucky, okay? Again, shot, grenade, melee kills, but you're not gonna be able to get this off, which is fine. The red shield, that's okay, that's okay, right? But again, I would think, I wanna save sleep for the Bastion. That's really the biggest problem. The Bastion's the only one getting hit. Shatter, 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 right? You haven't seen him shatter. I was thinking about the last fight. I'm definitely thinking about it this fight. You should not be this far forward, okay? Your team's already moving the cart for you. I would've played this doorway right here, and you would've been fine. Okay, no reason, or or play this corner if you have to. No reason to be standing where you are. This is how this is how supports die. Okay, very lucky you did not get shattered there. What is this? That's your your Reaper. Yeah, I think you just heal your Reaper here, and then you didn't mean Nano. I think you, I think this Ryan just dies right here. I think it's a bad call by the Ryan. Heal the Reaper. And say please. Okay, you don't need nano, right? Off. You go for the sleep. I, I this is so aggressive. First of all, nobody's moving the cart. <laughs> I don't get this. Nobody's moving the cart. Number one, right? So this is all gonna be for naught if no one moves the cart. Number two, your team doesn't need you. They got this, right? Fire asleep from here if you want to, but just like play back here on the cart, move it forward, then help. This is actually insane. You're just giving opportunities for the little kids. You can even land shots. Right, triple good. Right, again, easily should have died to the Whittle. You also totally lose track of your recent game, right? Like, you have Nano here. Nobody should die from here, from here until this cart gets all the way over here. No one should die. Unless they kill by Whittle, no one should die here. It is your job to keep people up. Okay? Eurisa's there, she's taking some damage. You notice how you step in front of the Eurisa, so you're not looking at the Eurisa anymore? 
Okay, she's getting taken damage, she's taking damage, you're not healing her, 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 and then she dies. I... I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know what you expect in this situation. As the Orisa, I'd be like, I expect my Anna to be healing me here. Like, I get that you killed the Zen, but also, you're already up, right? You're you're up by basically two in this situation, right? The Ryan's dead, okay? Their team is scattered. You're effectively like a two-person advantage, but let's just be literal and say that it's one, okay? As long as your Orisa doesn't die here, this, the, the round is over, okay? Just nano the Orisa. If, she, if she's like Colonel Colonel, she's, you hear the Bastion shooting from the ledge, nano the Orisa, you know? This is like bonkers to me. Like, when you jumped and got bumped by the cart, you should have died. Alright? Now you've lost both your Orisa and your Reaper, who are carrying you to this game, and you're giving you very little. Mm. Nothing you can do about that. Just let it go. I know you always get so excited when you get sleeps, but, like, it doesn't... No sleeps don't matter. Like, you're like, oh, I have an 80% accuracy in sleeps, but, like, who cares about your accuracy if you're not hitting the sleeps that you need to happen? If you slept a Bastion at any point in this game, you would have won a fight. None of the sleeps that you're throwing are actually high value. And that's a good shot on the... See, this feels to me like a reaction both to the lack of healing and to the Bastion, to play Sigma, okay? He has two main healers in the situation. Why is he not being aggressive? Orisa's a great hero in the situation. He can be aggressive, he can spin into the Bastion's face, he can interrupt, right? He could absolutely mess up the Bastion and the Rhine. But instead, he goes Sigma, a hero that needs way less healing. Again, because I feel like if you kept the Orisa alive here, I do not think that this player swaps off Orisa. Right? I think that they were doing really well on Orisa, and now they're forced Sigma. You don't know if they're... Maybe they're much worse than Sigma. Right? But maybe they feel forced to play Sigma because they're like, I don't feel like I'm getting the help here, right? Nana was basically never happened this game. So, you know, like, I don't... Like, remember Orisa died in second point, too. Right? When I point out that you could have stepped forward and saved your Orisa. I feel like your Orisa is playing well and you're just not supporting your Orisa. Finally, you try to sleep the Bastion for the first time this game. She just blocks it, but it's, you know, it's what it is, right? It's fine. Never get all. Okay, reasonable grenade. I think it's quite lucky you hit that, but that's okay. See, the problem is Sigma takes too long, right? The fight that you guys should have won much earlier. Throw a grenade. Alright, sleep is good. I don't know why you get so close. Like, what compels you in this situation? Okay. Why are you walking forwards? Like, if there's a fight that happens in this room, you're not going to do anything because you can't cross this gap anyway. You know what I mean? Like, you're never going to be able to walk across this gap to help the Reaper in this situation. So you should not be just inching forward like this. And then watch. You go even for You go all the way over here to the point that the Ryan can swing and nearly hit you with it before you throw the sleep, which is crazy to me. And you're going to get blown up by these two. Very sloppy positional play. Very sloppy. I mean, again, like, I I can't think of anything that you've done this game that has meaningfully changed the outcome of a fight. Like, that sleep on the ride is probably the best play you've had so far, and that was, like, an okay play. Okay, represent, yeah, I think it's a reasonable, reasonable nano, okay. Okay, great opportunity for, for grenade in a second. I really want to throw the grenade. But you're going to shatter first. Just tough again. You should have been tracking shatter, right? I am, I myself forgot, so I understand. So like, let me think about it. Throw the deep grenade. I think it's a good grenade. Okay, just keep everybody alive. Fight's over. I don't know why you're not in position, right? Stop the pain. Fight's about to start. Why are you Why are you rotating? Why aren't you already in position? Like this is like sloppy little details. I can't imagine you getting back the masters. <laughs> like little details like this, 
is just crazy. It's like in the grand scheme of things, it's gonna make a big difference. No, but it's like you have no attention to detail. Like just be ready. Like what if something happens? What if somebody gets eats a headshot right off the bat, right? And they're down with twenty-five health. You gotta save them. And see, it's like now you're rotating over here. Imagine if you've been playing here from the whole time. You drop it. You drop over here. You sleep. You save your son. Right? Now your son's dead. This is so silly. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't get it. This is so sloppy. Alright, you sleep. Right, maybe you kill, you trade, but the problem is that they have a much closer spawn than you. Right, trading is always good for offense, it's bad for defense. Reaper's here. Right. One of the few times where you should have been going towards this fight, not away. Because you really need to help your Reaper win this fight. Like, you're moving farther and farther away, the Reaper's now here, and you can't help this fight anymore. Right? You can just try to pocket your, your Widow, but like she could still get two-shot here. You should be walking forwards, recognizing that you have Grenade here. Right? I think you get this kill if you walk forwards instead of backwards. I don't understand why you walk backwards. Okay, your team had already pushed through the front, so you don't have to worry about getting shot by a sniper or anything. Good sleep. I don't think your Sigma would have died anyway, but it's still good sleep. Bad grenade. <laughs> like, it's just so far away, even if you purpled them, the Sigma's not gonna kill- the Sigma's not gonna kill the Rhine. You know what I mean? Like, a Rhine with shield in front of the spawn, the Sigma's not gonna kill the Rhine in this situation, right? Plus, they have Kiriko to, to cleanse. So, don't throw this grenade. You're gonna need this grenade later. Right? Your Sigma should be backing off here. I think it's a good idea to, to be targeting here. Heal your Tracer, please. Nothing you can do about that. Headshot kill. I do not get this aggressive. I know you want this kill, but the Widow's gonna be looking for you. <coughs> right. I think I think at higher ranks you get punished for trying to go for it, and the Reaper lives. Right. Now you're forced to grenade. Thank you. Okay. So you're down two on two versus four here. Okay. You need to buy time. You need to buy time, which means you want to take long defensive angles. Okay. Long defensive angles here or here. Right. If you had time, you could have rotated the all the way over here or something like that, or up top. You don't have time, so I think playing here is okay. I think playing here is better, right? Because the ride can force you out of this spot much easier. And I think you play, again, long, shallow angles to make it harder and harder for the Widow to go after you. So, for example, if you're playing back over here, okay, and the Widow goes far left, then you play this side. And now the Widow cannot shoot you for forever. It's so hard for her to get you, okay? But if you play right here, and you switch over here, first of all, you're super open, but the Widow doesn't have to go nearly as far to open you up to a shot. Like, this is basically just angle knowledge. You hear the sleep, you're, you're laid in the dart, right? You're laid in the dart and you're out of position. I'm here. Keep fighting. Thank you. I mean, I need some stake for you to get charged. Okay, so... You don't have grenade. Why don't you have grenade? Because you threw a grenade earlier to heal yourself because you're out of position. Right? You throw it right here because you're like, oh no, he might die. Which I understand. I think that's, that was the best option you had at the time. <laughs> but when your Ryan gets charged in right now, this would have been a massive grenade. A truly massive grenade. Right? The Ryan is not good. The Ryan has made so many misplays, you're unable to capitalize and then you die. So, again. Right? Missing the sleep here, I would say problem number one is you should have been playing here. If you're right here, you're fine, right? You wouldn't have hit the sleep, that's okay. You throw a grenade, okay, and you heal the Sigma. And then you let it play itself. You can't save everybody all the time, okay? But then, once you're over here, right? Now, the ride just swing away from you, you grenade, and then you get killed. Like, this is you, right? This is entirely preventable. All these, so preventable. No one can hide from You're all Get in there. I mean, I don't think you throw the grenade there, right? <laughs> Ryan's basically full health. He has a Kiriko next to him, which, you know, you haven't seen it, so presume there's Suzu. Why don't you just target the Moira who's right in front of you? You see her walking up, I think. You. Right, obviously, we have the better no one can hide You, you see her you. right here. I don't think I throw this nade. Right? I, you don't see her before you throw this, but I think I saved the nade for a better opportunity. No recovery. Sigma only gets the ride, which is unfortunate. Good sleep, right? I know stuff like that's gonna make you feel good. You're like, oh man, I'm really carrying. But the thing is, you're making so many other mistakes that stuff like that, while it is like a high skill play, is actually not that big a deal. Even if this Reaper killed you, this fight is won. You know what I mean? It's like you made a high skill play, but it doesn't matter because the fight's already over. 
this is this is the same problem when people play Widow, right? And they're like, oh, I got these like incredibly hard headshots. I'm like, but did you kill them at the right time? Right? If your whole team's dead, even if you kill three people, they still win the point. So what does it matter? You have to kill them before when the, the outcome's still, you know, in doubt. Oh, you, you messed this, you even mess up this combo, right? You throw the grenade first, right? You throw the grenade first, and then you shoot him, right? You shoot him first and throw the grenade, which means, oh, he, like, manages to get way more healing out of him than he should have, right? He would have taken more damage if he did get So I would think here, what position do you want to play? I don't think you want to play this hut, right? I just don't feel, what is this, outhouse? We'll call this outhouse, right? I don't think you want to play outhouse here, okay? Because they have a reaper who's clearly had tried to flank on your left, and they have Ryan who's a close range hero. I, I think you should be playing the boxes, <coughs> right? I think you're just so much safer on the boxes, and you could do so much more. Dead, right? Use your flanks, right? Forces your sleep out, which you didn't even need to pop right then, but you're trying to prevent teleport. Again, you spend wait after he teleports, I'd be like, where did he go? Stay in the fight. Okay. Watch. Right here. You sleep. I understand that sleep. Then you're like, oh, fire strike, and then you go way the hell. Just dodge to the left. Come back in. The fight's not, the fight's not over. Right? If you've been here, if you've been here, you could have killed the Reaper. Right? You saw a little Reaper? You you could have killed the Reaper. Heal the Tracer one more time. So, this is a situation. You're in a three on four. You probably need to get a kill here in order to be able to do this. Right? But if you stigmatize, it's also a four, so... I, I don't understand continually moving, drifting out to the right. If anything, somebody actually needs to get to the cart. So I don't think you continually move to the right here. I think that you heal the Reaper, or heal the, the Sigma, and then go after the Reaper in this situation. They continue drifting to the right, you're just moving in a straight line. Like, think about it. Even if you didn't die to Widow Headshot, the, they cap. I, I, this is bonkers to me to continue moving out here, right? Yeah. Truly crazy. <laughs> like this feels like 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 bronze or silver level play. We're like, oh okay, they're just gonna keep moving the cart. Let's just keep swinging wide away from. The Where are you gonna go? After they cap this, the fight's over. Also, the fact that you don't have nano is very painful. Hello. So, I think going lower here is pretty tough. Um, Choice. Mm. Right, do you have time here? The second you see that, step forward. You see how you see how slow you are? Right? And then I think you maybe hit the sigma. No, you just straight up miss. <laughs> yeah, you just straight up miss here. Ah, <laughs> that's. I mean, should your Hans have been there? No, but like stuff happens, right? Sigma kills two. You did sleep. Good, good, quick sleep, right? Forget this. Forget the Reaper. Who cares about the Reaper? Nothing about the Reaper doesn't matter right now. Reaper's out of the fight for the next like five seconds. Okay, your grenade gets cleansed. Okay, I think you have to nano here. Why? Because this is the last fight of point two, right? If you don't nano here then you may not get another opportunity until the cart's over here. So you might as well nano anyway, because you're going to be able to build another nano, right? This is like Overwatch 201, right? Just understanding like, the timing of when your ultimates are going to happen. But I think you nano probably your Tracer here, because your Sigma <laughs> is going to struggle to really do anything here, right? He's going to struggle with the Kiriko and etc. And like you can probably keep the, the Sigma up against the Ryan, but nanoing the Tracer, the Tracer's definitely going to kill the Kiriko. This is a three on two. This is an easy win. Once again, you're walking so close. I know the Reaper is is like a is like kind of in the back of your mind, but you got time here, okay? So Ryan kills your your tracer here, which again, if you nailed the tracer, this would not have happened. Right? Would 
not have happened. Now Reaper's here. Now you nano the Sigma. And Sigma's like, what the hell am I supposed to do now? You see the Sigma position? Again, the card is moving forwards. You're forced back. Even if the Sigma kills the Reaper here, which he has no right to do, there's no way that Reaper should die to Sigma in this situation, right? He can just wraith and walk away, right? Plus it's being pocketed by the Kiriko, there's no chance that Sigma kills the Reaper, okay? But this nano is entirely wasted now. You're not going to buy any time with this. Like, literally zero time is going to be... Yeah, see? Like, it's hard. Like, Sigma versus... It's, this is not, like, an easy fight for him to win. Again, he finally kills the Reaper, and it's capped. And then you wasted, you wasted your time, you wasted your ulti. Like, again, just negative impact here. Uh, a lot of misses there. Again, why are you playing in the open? You have no respect for the enemy. Right? You're like, oh man, I'm sure nobody's ever going to be able to kill me sitting in the open. If you climb to Masters, you're going to get obliterated trying to do this against a Widow. <laughs> this is actually bonkers to me that you think that you're not going to die standing out here in the open against a Widow. That, where did that grenade go? This grenade's woefully off target. <laughs> This is really bad. Okay, now they're going to push into you, and they know you don't have grenade for another 9 seconds. Okay, and you retreat. Of all places, you retreat it somewhere where you cannot help your tank. Okay, you know that the Sigma's going to walk this way. The Sigma's not going to walk here, right? You know he's going to walk this way. You know he's going to walk this way, right? There's no tank that's going to be like, oh, I'm going to play this way, except if it's a Ryan that's trying to force like a close, right, a close fight, or like an Orisa, right? Or, or maybe a Hog. But like every other tank is going to have to back up this way, all right. Now, what are you gonna do for the next ten seconds while you're rotating around? You'll probably lose. Is my guess. <laughs> All right. No value. No value. No value. No value. No value. No value. Rotating. Yeah. See, now the Reapers putting pressure on you, right? Forcing cooldowns. Right. Reapers walking into you. Uh, so I would have thrown a grenade there, right? Right when he's coming out to potentially prevent him from getting the mega. Maybe you miss the timing, maybe you don't, right? But again, like, this fight's basically over. So, again, I would note how many fights your team has won where you have done nothing. That team, your team won the fight while you were walking around back here. Actually crazy how, how badly your team is carrying you here. Um, but again, the Reaper's like the lone survivor. You could get a pick here by throwing, throwing a nade and getting a stagger, right? Why not try? Because you're not going to need the grenade. I would not keep your back open to that. I would probably ping this wall, too, to indicate to people that... Don't move towards him. All right, Reaper's still in the back line. Again, ping it. Okay. Oh, I'm missing that follow-up shot. It's brutal. Okay. Finally get him. I disagree with that grenade. <laughs> you don't know the timing when they're going to be ready to push, but... Like, yeah. Right, you pocket the here, which right call. So, for Ryan, just don't throw grenades like at his face. You know, like they're low value, and it, he can see it coming at him with like a purple trail and everything. At higher level, Ryan's will block these grenades all the time. But you could splash it above him, right, like over here, which would have got him and the people over here, right? So, like, let's roll this back. Right now, you could throw a grenade into this corner. And potentially get so many people with this with this grenade, right? Instead, so you just chuck it at him, and you miss him, and you miss him. <laughs> Even without shield, you just straight up miss him. All right. Once again, your DPS is doing a lot of work. Wait, they're getting picks. So many picks in neutral position, right? Your team is absolutely rolling. Their team. It's incredible that you lose this game. Uh, again, shatter, shatter, shatter. Right. You have not seen the Rhine Shatter. Why are you playing this close? It's not your job to play up here. It is absolutely not your job. If Sigma is fighting a Rhine over here, that is not your fault. You can't do it. You're not going to walk up here to go help, right? Just throw a grenade or whatever it is, right? You need to play way further back, right? Probably this angle right here is what you should play so that you don't get shattered, okay? And then you can counter Nano when he shatters somebody. Okay? You threw the, I don't know if that was intentional or not, but you threw the nade after Suzu, which is great. I would probably nano Sigma here, right? Because again, he's super low, and you don't want the Sigma to know. Right? Good nano. 
you sleep right away to try to get the Rhine. Uh, your sleep is off target. I don't think I understand. But so one thing I've noticed is that you jump a lot before you use abilities. Right? Like you see that jump that you just did? We'll, we'll play it slowly. This is like a bad habit that you have. And, and it's off target. Right? It manages the, the, the Kiriko, which is totally luck. I'm sure you were aiming at the Rhine, which is what you should have been aiming at. Aiming at. Okay. So after that, you gotta heal people who are down on the ground, right? You failed to heal the Kiriko. So how does this happen? Okay. You realize like so late that you have to be pulling back. But again, if I was Ryan coming out here, I would have shattered right away. <coughs> and then you get screwed. That's more of a mistake of their Ryan, but I don't think it's good versus you being in the right position. So first person to heal is the Kiriko, then I heal the Tracer. Right? Heal supports first. Close your eyes. Could you have saved the Kiriko? No recovery. No Get in there. I think you could have healed the Kiriko and then slept, is what you should have done. And it, and then you actually should have slept the Reaper over the Rhine. But because realistically, you don't need to keep healing the Sigma. The Sigma is actually totally fine here, right? The sleep is also not necessarily strictly important because nobody's within range. The Rhine's not within range to kill anybody. So I think you heal the Kiriko first. Is what you should have done. Right. Reaper chasing you down. This right call the back here is on the Grenade. Check. No, oh, you forgot to shoot. Oh, you're die stuck. eventually. <laughs> I like the way your tracer just gives up on you healing for some reason. Probably because the tracer feels really frustrated getting the healing. Okay, right? I, I like this is really puzzling to me. The tracer just comes up to you and is like, nope, eventually. I don't need it. I'm just gonna try contesting right now with 50 health. <laughs> I feel like the is not that big fan. Nothing you do right now, right? Nothing you do right now. Don't, don't, like, you're just, you're hopping and hopping and hopping. You're like, oh, let's do something. You can't do something, right? They just want the fight. They just want the fight. Wait to regroup. Okay? There's, like, there's so much, like, impatience here. Like, it feels like you're like, I deserve to win this fight right now. Let's go. But that's not the way it works. Okay. Again, you see this Reaper. Like, your Sigma's fucked. There is no world where your Sigma dies or even gets critical here. Okay? Because he's just going backwards. He's, he's kiting the right, which is exactly what you should be doing. As soon as you see the Reaper, Reaper should be your number one attention. Like, you should just look at this Reaper nonstop. There's no way your Sigma dies here. Let's be very clear here. There's no way your Sigma dies here. Reaper's a big deal. Also, you're out of position. Why are you standing in the middle of the lane? Right? They're running a soldier now who's also charged who's going to obliterate you. Right? Play corners. Take cover. <laughs> Right? Or if you want to kill this Reaper quickly, run forwards at him to prevent the soldier from killing you. Don't you don't need to look forward. You don't need to look forward. Right? Until he rapes. You turn. Yeah, you turn before he rapes. Right? Keep focus on him until he rapes. Now you're in big trouble. Now you're just hopping around. I can't believe you got the 3900 and your primary form of dodging is jumping. <laughs> if you don't realize how bad jumping is, I'm not going to try to explain it to you, but it's actually shocking to me that you don't know how bad jumping is against hits get heroes. You should just get black. I, at higher levels, you're dead. You never make it out of the middle of the lane in that situation. Okay. So, you finally get the cover, right? Which is where you really should have been for very the whole time. So you look up at the Sigma. So also, remember there's a Reaper here? Okay, you saw him wraith to the right. Okay, yeah, you threw the grenade. I think it's a good grenade to try to help the Tracer get that kill. I'm surprised you don't. So this happens. So Reaper must have teleported here. Yeah, he teleports here and then pops ulti. So that's unfortunate, just the timing of it. You try to go for the sleep, I presume? Right, hit the Rhine. Okay, it is what it is. Tracer sticks the Rhine, so I guess you shoot the Rhine here. I think there's almost no way the Rhine dies. I think you should just shoot the Reaper. As much as you just saw teleport, <coughs> presumably you saw the Reaper go after, the Tracer go after the Reaper earlier, and you saw the Reaper Wraith. So I assume he doesn't have, eh, he doesn't have it, it's unfortunate. But I don't think the Rhine dies here. I think this is a but you keep the Tracer up, you did a good job with those hits. Bad grenade. I, I understand the idea, but obviously he's already, he's, he's low. So when Rhines are low, they hold shield up. When Rhines are high, they don't hold shield up. That's something you should think about just for playing against Ryan. 
I would have tossed a nade over here instead, or the Reaper. Right? Like, imagine if you toss a nade right here. Holy shit. Like, that's fight winning if you throw that nade right there. I think this is a reasonable fight to take right now. Get that fire strike. I don't know what that sleep is. I think you hear the Rhine. I appreciate it. I don't think you, I think you just throw the right the sleep randomly try to hit the soldier, which is a big mistake. Right now you get pinned and killed because that sleep is woefully out of position. Okay, I'm gonna stop because I don't think this is worth continuing to to watch. So what would I say? Number one, do you deserve to be demoted? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> this is not this is not diamond. Certainly not high diamond level gameplay. This is pretty bad. I'd say number one, your positioning is really poor. Um, number two you don't nano well at all and number three i think your ability usage is mediocre i think your aim is good i think your aim mechanically is there right both sleep dart and like reaction time and like scoped aim i think is 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 good enough to be high diamond right uh masters level probably not i think you're probably a little far away from the, on the aim side from from hitting masters but for high diamond, yeah, I think your aim is there. I think everything else is poor, right? I don't think you understand the game situation nearly well enough. I don't think you enable your teammates enough. I don't think you save your teammates enough. I think in this game, again, I think your DPS and tank were absolutely carrying you throughout this game. Um, and you had so limited impact on attack and on defense, right? I think attack was even worse. Um, but yeah, lots of positional mistakes, ability usage mistakes, uh, just, and nano being the most, the, the biggest one, right? It's just not not good nano usage. So it's just, it's going to be very hard to, to win or influence games in this situation. I think your general choice of when to kill people is okay. I think that was okay. I don't think I disagree with that at all. I think that you got some, you managed to get some picks, but then you end up getting punished for it sometimes too, not having abilities on cooldown, trying to get those picks, which ended up not being worth it. Okay. Hopefully that's helpful.